On the 23rd of April 1930, more than 200 unarmed protesters were shot dead by the British Indian Army in the Kissa Khwani Bazaar of Peshawar. The protesters called themselves the Khudai Hidmatgars and they had gathered there to oppose the arrest of their leader, Abdul Ghaffar Khan. Political scientist Jean Sharp described the scene as follows. When those in front fell down wounded by the shots, those behind came forward with their chests bared and exposed themselves to the fire. So much so that some people got as many as 21 bullet wounds in their bodies and all the people stood their ground without getting into a panic. The Kissa Khwani Bazaar massacre was one of the most savage British attacks on Indian freedom fighters and it created unrest across the Indian subcontinent. It also catapulted the newly formed Khudai Khidmatgar movement to prominence. At the end of the 19th century, the Pashtuns living in the border areas of Afghanistan and Pakistan were extremely poor, backward and illiterate. Born here in 1890, Abdul Ghaffar Khan came from a well-to-do family and was able to attend school. Having experienced the benefits of a good education, he started the Azad school at the age of 20 in his hometown of Utmadzai in the Khaybar Pakhtunwa region. By this time, Abdul Ghaffar was already a pro-independence activist and highly influenced by Mahatma Gandhi's Satyagraha movement. Khan wanted his fellow Pashtuns to unite, be educated, give up blood feuds and get organized. He tried to achieve this through the school he opened. Sadly, it was shut down by the British government within just five years for its independence leanings. This did not discourage Khan. For the next decade and a half, he travelled across 500 Pakhtun villages to understand the problems and needs of the people and became a public figure. In 1929, to bring all his socio-political activities together under one umbrella, Khan founded the Khudai Khidmatgar or the Servants of God movement. It attracted more than one lakh followers who managed programs for poverty relief and established a network of Azad schools which taught subjects like mathematics and English and vocational skills like carpentry and weaving. The Khudai Khidmatgar also found a united, independent, secular India by forming a non-violent front. Abdul Ghaffar Khan, now popularly called Sarhadi Gandhi or Frontier Gandhi, told his Khidmatgars, I am going to give you such a weapon that the police and the army will not be able to stand against. It is the weapon of the Prophet, but you are not aware of it. That weapon is patience and righteousness. No power on earth can stand against it. But what led to the horrific massacre of these servants of God in April 1930? In December 1929, a few Khudai Khidmatgars had attended the Lahore session of the Indian National Congress and asked its members to look into their grievances. The British had treated their homeland as no more than a buffer zone against Afghanistan and it had remained poor and neglected. To investigate the complaints, a Congress delegation was to arrive in Peshawar in April 1930 but it was detained in Punjab and denied access to the northwest frontier province. The Khudai Khidmatgars were outraged. Khan called for a civil disobedience movement, but he was arrested. To protest this, his followers staged a peaceful demonstration at Kissa Khwani Bazaar in Peshawar. What followed was the infamous massacre. Over the years, the Khidmatgars were subjected to more violence and their villages were bombed and mass arrests continued. As the partition of India seemed certain, 
Khan was deeply hurt as he believed the country should not be split. After partition, the northwest frontier province became a part of Pakistan. And left with no choice, Khan swore his allegiance to the newly created country. But Khan was considered an agent of India and he and his Khidmatkar movement was banned in 1948. Sadly, the long struggle for freedom ended in deep disappointment and a sense of betrayal for Khan. But the key role played by him and the bravery shown by his band of non-violent foot soldiers in India's fight for freedom needs to be remembered and celebrated. <laughs>